it's not by any means a warm day in March. We're sitting at 26 degrees. It's hard to believe, you know, this whole month of March has really been kind of the standard of what I expect in March. Um, February was just kind of out of the norm. Um, much warmer temperatures than we usually see. We usually don't get five days or six days in the 70s um, in February and then have multiple days in the 50s. But I don't know. It is what it is. I did hear the other day on the news, though, that the United States is producing pollen much sooner than records have ever shown. Now, that means a few things. First of all, it's definitely a sign of global warming, whether you believe it or not. Um, the other thing it means is, for our bees, is brood production is going to be up a lot um, this year. And that's because we're going to have a longer pollen season. With pollen becoming available as soon as it did this year, there's going to be a lot longer allergy season or pollen season for us beekeepers. And um, that's a good thing, but it means a few different things. And one of those things it means is a definite increase in brood production. Um, probably longer brood production, um, longer brood cycles than normal because of this sooner beginning to uh, pollen becoming available. Um, it also means that our bees will probably start to think about swarming a lot sooner than normal. Now here in central Ohio, it's usually the middle of May to the end of May before I start to get any swarm calls or start to notice any kind of swarming activity in my colonies, like swarm cells being developed. Um, but I look for that to push to the beginning of May, maybe the end of April this year because of the abundance of pollen that's available um, out here in nature now. But it's something that we need to keep an eye on, is keep an eye on our bees. Um, you know, we get in this train of thought where we're used to things at certain times of the year and we know to react. Well, this year is going to be different. We're going to have to react a little sooner than we normally do. And like I mentioned, it's also going to be a lot longer allergy season if you're a person that suffers from allergies. Now, if you are one of these people, what I strongly suggest is you reach out to a local beekeeper in your area and purchase some raw honey and start eating that honey. That honey has pollen and different things in it that will build up your immune system and before long you may not even have allergies anymore so that's something um i think i would check into if it's if you're uh, battling allergies um that's not nothing i battle anymore it used to be when i was a kid when people were cutting hay my eyes would all puff up and i couldn't hardly see my eyes would be all watery but anymore you know i'm out here feeding these cows and um i deal with hay on a daily basis during the dormant season and it doesn't bother me anymore even when it's being cut um, these pastures here um, the grass will get so high that they'll go the grass will go to seed and that produces a ton of pollen and every time the wind blows um, my my daughter and my wife just they hate it but it doesn't bother me um, like it used to so Keep that in mind. If you have allergies, check out, um, check with your local beekeeper. Maybe get to where you're uh, buying um, a bottle of honey and eating it, and then you go back to them. And just keep keep building up your system and keep eating it. And before long, I'm sure you're going to notice a difference with your allergies. Um, anyway, I just thought it was interesting that um, we broke a record here in the United States with pollen. And, um, you know, it's it kind of sends up a red flag that... Um, we're going to have to watch for swarms a little bit sooner than we normally do. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if so, smash that thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down below. Uh, thanks for watching, folks, and we'll see you next week.